Number 16, 1949 S. Roosevelt Time in MS-67 condition with full bands. Illustrious, boldly struck example with speckled rusted patina blanketing the obverse and in the fields and near the peripheries on the reverse. A flawlessly preserved coin with fully defined torch on the back side. This gem ended up selling for $1,351.25. Number 15, 1936 D. Washington Quarter in MS-66 condition. A dusting of silvery iridescence greets the viewer from the both sides of this lustrous and smooth upper end example. After only 1932 D and 1932 S, the 1936 D is the rarest quarter of this design type in gem mint state preservation, excluding varieties. At the assigned grade level and with CEC approvals, the 1936D is highly elusive. This true gem ended up selling for $1,440. Number 14, 1997D Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to NGC price guide, as of July 2023, a Jefferson Nickel from 1997 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, in higher mint conditions, it sometimes commands nice premiums. For example, this gem was bargained for $2,025 with buyers fee at Great Collections Auction. Number 13, yet another nickel. 1942 Jefferson 5 cent piece in MS68 condition with 5 full steps. All 1942 D. Jefferson nickels were struck before the transition to the silver alloy used for much of World War II. Examples are plentiful overall, but registry-grade coins are rare. Lovely lilac, blue, gold, and sea green hues adorn the pristine, glistening surfaces of this coin. The attractively toned gem fetched the sum of $2,640 on July 21, 2023. Number 12, Bicentennial Proof Kennedy of Dollar, graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS, a representative of numismatic perfection, though the revival of the silver Kennedy Half was popular in 1976. It is a clad proof variant that has proven more elusive in perfect condition today. This is a deeply gold toned example that offers essentially undisturbed surfaces and is housed in a green label holder. It was sold for $3,737.50. Number 11, here is 2004P Texas State Quarter in MS69 condition. Reaching threshold of numismatic perfection, it lacks just one point of approaching highest grade possible. According to NGC price guide, as of July 2023, a state quarter from 2004 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on an open market 2000p quarters in pristine uncirculated condition sell for as much as $3,500. However, this gem brought a huge premium to its owner. It was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. Number 10, this is vividly toned 1948 Roosevelt Dime, graded in mean state 68 with full bands by PCGS, the amazing multicolored iridescence that occupies most of the obverse and the reverse border of this sharply struck superb gem helps to create the overall aesthetic appeal that makes this piece so compelling to examine. Undoubtedly, the underlying shimmering luster is another important attribute when impeccable preservation is added. A rare marriage of technical perfection and stunning visual appeal is achieved. It was sold for $4,800. Number 9, 1995 Lincoln Sand with double die obverse, graded in mean state 67 red by PCGES. According to Heritage, the motto in God we trust is clearly doubled on this amazing superb gem. This piece has a rich orange mint luster with noticeably stippled surfaces from dye erosion. As struck, scattered spots are consistent with the grade. It was sold for $4,200.
Number 8, 1999 as proof Delaware state quarter silver 5 cent piece in PR70 deep cameo condition. PR stands for proof indicating that it is a specially produced coin with high quality strike and finish. The grade of 70 is the highest possible grade on the Sheldon numeric grading scale, indicating a coin in perfect condition with no visible flaws. Deep cameo refers to the sharp contrast between the frosted design elements and the mirrored background on the coin's surface, enhancing its visual appeal. It was sold for $5,115 with buyer's fee. Number 7. Up next is 1915 D. Lincoln Cent in MS66 red condition, an outstanding example of this early Denver Mint issue with a remarkably crisp definition on even the most minute details of the obverse and reverse motifs, bright and satiny with lovely mint red toning and mark free surfaces. It fetched the sum of $6,198.13 at auction. Number 6, 1955 D. Jefferson Nickel and MS66 condition with full steps designation. According to NGC, the 1955 D. Nickel is generally superior to its Philadelphia mint cousin, but that's about the only nice thing that can be said. Many were coined from worn dyes, though they typically have better luster and more pleasing planchets than 1955 P. Nickels. Coins with five full steps are very scarce, and six full steps examples are exceedingly rare. This gem was sold for $11,812.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5, 1958 Lincoln Cent in PR68 Red Deep Cameo Condition. Deep Cameo Red Proof 1958 cents are rare in uppermost grades. This coin is fully struck and dramatically contrasted with original copper gold color. The surfaces are carbon free and unblemished. It was sold for $12,337.50. Number 4, moving on with his 1920 D. Lincoln Penny in MS66 red condition, boldly lustrous bright mint orange surfaces exhibit lively cartwheel activity and exceptional eye appeal. The strike is sharper than typical for the issue, with the devices displaying a bold rendition of the Brenner's famous scent. According to Stex Power, though more than 49 million examples of the date were produced, the true gems of the date, MS65 or finer, are not an easy find in today's numismatic marketplace. This highly sought after penny was sold for $20,562.50. Number 3, 1963D Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. This exquisite ultra gem is ringed in halos of intense burnt orange reddish bronze and antique gold peripheral toning. Of center areas of brilliance are also noted, the pattern of toning strongly suggestive of years spent in cardboard holder, fully struck with pristine mint frost, although the Denver mint struck a large total of 135,288,184 quarters in 1963. Precious few have been preserved with enough care to secure even a superb gem MS67 rating from PCGS. This MS68 quarter was sold for $24,000. Number 2, 1970 S Type 2 Standing Liberty quarter, blazing bright white with abundant mint luster throughout and a bold strike. The surfaces are exceptional for these or any date and are a delight to examine as, as the luster is virtually unbroken by any contact and the coin is brilliant save for a hint of peach gold. Full head examples are tough to find of this issue and especially so in gem or finer condition. It was sold for $45,825. Number 1. 1911D Lincoln Cent in MS67 red condition. The 1911D is among the most plentiful branch mint issues from this era of Lincoln Cent's in full red condition. Such coins are plentiful as fine as MS65 and only marginally scarce in MS66. However, superb gems are notable rarities. 
This PCGS coin displays stunning copper-orange surfaces that luminous and matte-like, with no trace of carbon spotting. It was sold for $66,000 in 2022. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed this eye-opening experience. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Stay curious and until the next time, happy coin collecting.